welcome back to Dice Baker, where today I'm going to be making something a little bit different. Um, today I'm actually going to move away from baking and I'm going to make something that I've been quite excited about for a while. And that is some candy D&D dice. If you've never seen D&D dice before, this is my, my set. Ooh. There you go. So pretty. Uh, mine are probably not going to look quite as extravagant as that. I'm going to make just some like very basic colours. Uh, I'm probably going to go with blue because blue is one of my favourite colours. And it's pretty simple as far as I can see from candy making videos because I'm not doing anything special. I'm literally just making candy like the most basic type of candy and adding some food colouring. And actually, luckily I managed to find some really good D&D uh, &D dice moulds online which I'm just gonna have to, let's see if I can show these off. All I have to do is pour them in there. Et voila. So let's see how that works out. Um, total of four ingredients and I'm gonna start by measuring the ingredients. This batch didn't really work out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like tar. It's really horrible. Mm. It looks like it's it looks like a D and D monster. To be fair, so we're not far off. I'm gonna have a quick look and see if I can find another recipe to follow, maybe, because um, I don't really fancy doing the same thing again because it obviously didn't work. Uh, but yeah, my first dice baker fail where I've had to remake something, thankfully. Um, it's a pretty quick recipe to just throw out and start again. Take two. So I've given the candy dice some time to set 
hopefully long enough. They feel pretty hard, so I think they should be okay. I've also made a mixture of um, alcohol and um, icing sugar. So I use gin. Um, I've, I've seen a few recipes that say to use vodka. Uh, I decided to use gin, because why not? Um, and I'm gonna try and paint them. Well, first of all, I'm gonna get the things out of their casts and see how they turned out. But then I'm planning to paint the numbers so they're a bit more clear on the dice. And then that's pretty much it. Then I'm good to go. I would say for anyone who's thinking about trying this, um, candy making is a very precise and quick art form. You have to be, um, yeah, you have to just be like really quick off the mark. You have to be super prepared before you even start. I would say if possible, try and make sure that there's somebody else around just in case you forget anything during the setup or you just need help because I ended up just having a bit of a panic and needing to call my boyfriend in to help me with something and I don't know what I would have done if he wasn't around. So I think that's probably a good idea, at least for your first time until you've kind of get your eye in um, if you're planning to do this more than once. But um, yeah, I've, I'm hoping these kind of came out all right. You'll see in a second that um, the four-sided die, I actually never got the lid on because I'd overfilled it a little bit. Um, you might have noticed in the video that it spilled over and then I refilled it and I overfilled it a little bit. And by the time I was putting the lid on that one, it was too late to kind of get rid of the excess. Um, I think there might be a little bit too much in one or two of the other ones, but let's just see when they come out. I'm sure, I'm hoping that most of them are okay and look good. That's it, candy indeed dice that you can eat when you get a crit one. So that's good. Um, yeah, this was an interesting one this year, uh, this, year this week. Um, it, I, where the, the, I've baked, I've baked cakes, I've made cookies before, I've done pretty much everything I've done up until now. I've kind of done a part of it at least before, even if I haven't done a certain type of frosting or icing or whatever. Uh, this is the first time I've made candy ever and it was interesting. It was a bit scary in parts, it was frustrating in parts. At the beginning, I don't even know if I mentioned it in the video um, and I should actually point that out now. Um, I, the recipe I was following said that I was supposed to heat the mixture to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, sorry, Celsius, it did say Celsius. In the video um, and so I was trying to do that I tried that a few times as you saw and it failed every time I burnt around the hundred and I think 180 mark or that's at least when I kind of definitely knew that it was burning um, and that was because I was only supposed to be heating it to about 150 160 degrees Celsius and um, it was supposed to be 300 degrees Fahrenheit and I did think that to myself when it was burning at 180 or whatever I did wonder did they mean Fahrenheit but here we are. It took me three goes, but we got there. Um, the only thing I'm a bit like frustrated with is that the numbers haven't come out that well. Where the um, the silicone, uh, what is it called again?
These silicone molds were awesome. I'm just gonna say that now, actually. I got them on Amazon for like seven pounds or something. It did take a few weeks to get here. I don't know where they came from, but they are really good. And I think I would recommend them to anyone who wants to give this a go, especially for seven pounds. Like you can't really go wrong with that anyway. But also like I've seen some other molds which um, don't have the lid thing going on or they don't have the number in the lid because in obviously the difference with these ones are or that I could see anyway was that the lid has the missing number it's usually a one I think in the lid in this case um, so when you add the lid it, it'll have that it, it's not missing a side essentially um, and they're really easy to use like even though I kind of over poured them um, all a tiny bit that was obviously my own bad and that's something I'll learn for next time if I do this again. Um, yeah, the only thing was I wouldn't recommend using icing sugar with alcohol for the, if you're going to paint the numbers. Because my dice came out quite dark, um, I mean they're almost black but with kind of like a purplish hint. Like so if you held them up against the light you definitely see the that they're purple but they are quite dark. Um, icing sugar just isn't like strong enough unless you add a colour to it. Um, I only had dark colours, unfortunately, or yellow, which wasn't really going to do much. So ideally, I think you'd probably want to try and get like um, white um, uh, colouring, what are they, what's it called? Food colouring. <laughs> I can't, words. Um, to make those like stand out properly and kind of pop. Um, or make lighter dice. So I initially was going to make either clear or very light colored dice but I put in like way too much food coloring again something I learned for next time and um, if it wasn't for the fact that I already made a couple of batches that failed I probably would give it another go right now but I've been scrubbing my pot like crazy today because every time it burns it's so hard to get off and even the candy that did succeed like it was just almost impossible to clean my pot so that's something to consider as well if you want to give this a go there's yeah mind your mind your like crockery <laughs> but yeah no overall I enjoyed it it was something new it was something I've been quite excited to try for a while um you never know I might revisit this with a guest sometime in the future or uh try something a little bit different I'd love to actually um make some with alcohol in them and see how they come out um maybe maybe try and make some and use them in a game that would be interesting they are quite sticky though uh, but I guess you could cover them in powdered sugar, which again, I don't have right now. But if I did, I would, and then they wouldn't be so sticky. So, you know, lots of things to consider for if you're gonna give this a go. But for now, I'll leave it there. Um, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dice Baker. It's been a pleasure. Um, as always, we have plenty more videos for you to check out and they'll be popping up on the screen right about now. Um, for now, for me, that's it. Goodbye, have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. I rolled a seven. I think. <laughs>